Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. Sometimes you get a pickup that's just so damn good, you gotta share it with somebody. Today, we are gonna unbox the NES Challenge Set. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking Peanut Butter Milk Stout by Left Hand Brewery. It's a Peanut Butter Milk Stout. All right, you know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's take a look inside this NES Challenge Set. Back country known as the NES Punk, and you are watching gaming off the grid. Right now, you're on the grid watching on YouTube, though, so you have power and electricity. It was a typical night after we had shut down the operations here at Got G Studios. Robert, I think you were in bed probably yep. counting sheep. Yep. I was doing my typical nightly routine, watching Mega Dan 29 whoop some ass in whatever game he was streaming. And I was like, man, I gotta get to bed. It's it's late. So shut down the stream, switch off the light by my bed, and I'm like, I'm just gonna check eBay real quick. Bad idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, maybe. maybe it wasn't. But anyways, jump on eBay and I see this complete in box NES challenge set. And it was listed for $225. And I was like, wow. That's but that looks so good. So it said make an offer. I made an offer, super low offer over half off offer and it accepted it which is rare because a lot of times they only accept offers that are so high nothing happened i went to bed woke up the next morning went to work nothing happened i'm working 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 i had forgotten all about the nes challenge set and i get off work and i check my phone and it says offer accepted what Welcome to the game room, the NES challenge set. And we were like, you know what? We gotta tell some of the viewers about this great pickup. We don't get a lot of them, especially with COVID-19, dude. But we're gonna unbox this. I'll it's show you guys. beautiful. Yeah, what it's like to unbox an NES challenge set in 2020. It's pretty accurate to how it would have been back in the day. There's a few things, like I don't know that it was all put back the same way that it originally came, but dude, it's looking. It's, it's pretty close. Minty. Let's uh, jump in. All right, here we go. All right, without further ado, the Nintendo entertainment system challenge set it's gonna be a huge nostalgia trip for me because my brother and i opened one of these on a christmas morning back in the early 90s we're gonna take a tour around the box and then we will unbox this thing electronic boutique i don't know what part of the country that store is in definitely never in our area in the midwest that i know of um, but this thing retailed for 89.99 and you get super mario 3 say what what an amazing deal get to the side part of the box here they are promoting a little four-player play. Arcade stick, another four-player. Hmm, two different multi-taps advertised on the same box. Interesting. The maximum control stick, interesting. Looking at the back here, the challenge set. It's all Mario 3. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like either on the box or the cartridge box, there's a scene from Mario 3 that's not actually in the game. That's a little nugget from Tom from Do You Nerd. Um, but yeah, bringing home the power. Pretty exciting stuff. Some games on the side that they are showing. They're featuring Dr. Mario, Final Fantasy, Tetris, and NES play action football. I bet you that game is dog shit. Anyways, without uh, making you wait much longer, let's tear into this thing and see what's in the box. Very minty styrofoam. The styrofoam is just mm, pristine. You guys ready? Here we go. I'm gonna spin it around here because it looks like it just needs to be this way. Whew. Okay, first question I have is I don't know that this would be the original game that was packed in with here because I thought these had like a not for resale stripe on them, uh, but maybe that was removable. I can't remember. You guys will have to let us know in the comment section below. But as you tear into this bad boy, Look at the back. Oh, this is the level right here. This was not in the game. I'm pretty sure this is the one Tom was telling me. Not in the game. So interesting that they put a deleted scene on the back of the box. Come on, Nintendo. You be slipping. Ooh, the foam inserts in there. Yeah, it's right there. I don't want to pull it out. I don't want to mess with the box too much. We got the game. The booklet. Man, that is clean. Guys, look at that freaking cartridge. Holy cat crap. That is money. We got the inserts. We got the booklet here. Holy cow. 
Nintendo Power advertisement. Guys, the most iconic Nintendo poster ever made right here. Now you're playing with power. Dude. Man, it doesn't get much more nostalgic than that. Jeez. Okay, we're gonna set some of this stuff aside. I'm gonna try not damaging that cartridge box because it's clean. Got the control deck. Instruction manual. I mean, who needs one of these, right? Everybody knows how to control an NES, but it's cool to this there, and it's in really good condition. You got this uh, consumer information. I'm guessing it's saying, don't play for too long or your brain will seize. Never happened to me though. So play on, boys and ghouls. Now this is cool. This is another Nintendo poster. Now it does look like it's a little worse for wear. Like I think the poster's fine, but it's got some curved edges. As you guys can see there, a little bit of damage on that. That's kind of sucks. I wish that was like minty. We're gonna take a look at this. Let's get a closer look here. I like this backside. Now this would be cool to frame and put up in the game room right here. How to hook up your new entertainment system. We have option folks. We got the good old RF, man, Mike Tyson. You can whoop his ass two different ways. You got the RF, or you can go with the AV hookups here, which this set's cool because it came with both of them, I think. I mean, at least there's both of them in this box. But yeah, care and precaution, how to take care of your NES. Guys, holy cow, let's check out this other side. Now you're playing with power. We got another Now You're Playing With Power, full of games, advertising different things. Wow, so cool. So far, very happy that I pulled the trigger on this challenge set. Okay, so before we get to the NES, let's go through some of the not so fun stuff. You got your power brick. I'm not gonna pull it out of there. It's looking pretty good. We got some AV cables. Um, you know, as a kid, I always played this stuff through RF. We didn't have a TV till probably late 90s, early 2000s that actually had these type of plugs. So I don't know if these are the original ones. You might wanna get a close look in the comment section below. Let us know, are these the ones that came with your Nintendo? Let us know. Got the RF switch here. You got two controllers. They're both looking mighty fine, porcupine. I'm not gonna dig in too much, but I think they're, uh, I can just tell by looking at them, they're in pretty good shape. Buttons feel great. Okay, <clears throat> here we go. Is there any yellowing? What do the stickers on the bottom look like? How is the door? Is it flimsy or is it stiff? Okay, it's looking really good. Really good. Nice, stiff door, look. He doesn't even want to fall down on its own. Yes, we got our 1-800 number, still, in still intact. Yum, yum. Rotate around, it's no yellowing. Very, very clean. This is what I always look at on an ES. I love seeing the bottom. How good do they look? This thing is almost flawless, folks. Holy shit. Wow. I'm guessing this thing will fire up immediately. But we'll check that out and see if everything works and we will be right back. All right, we're back, and this thing plays oh, perfectly. Flawless. First time, bing, wah, video game bliss. So you probably didn't dig into the NES till I'm guessing 1998. You're born in 94, Yeah, right? 94. And it was your mom, so you would have never been able to enjoy unboxing. No, I just had it raw, like in the cabinet, yeah. you know? And so what'd you think? Did you, did you feel like you were kind of in like Back to the Future or it something was, like that? It was so cool. We just unboxed a PlayStation 2 a while back and that was really cool because I love the PS2, but man, Nintendo knows how to do their marketing, just the colors, just the way yeah. everything, it just, it was so much better than Sony and that's hard to say as a Sony fanboy. Well, you know? well, I don't know if you remember in that episode, I think when I was narrating that piece, I said, you know, it was cool to have a complete box PS2 but the colors were very just blase. Yeah, it was just like bland. It, and, and even the inserts, they were all just printed in black and white. But this, and this is like a time capsule. I'm so glad I pulled the trigger on it. I've got a complete inbox action set, but this one I really wanted to get because like I said, my brother and I opened one of these and this was our second NES. We had one that kind of just went bad on us. I wish I would have known then what I know now because I would have been able to probably so just fix, fix it, it yeah. and replace the pins or something. But my little freaking, you know, eight, nine year old brain was just like, he's broken. <laughs> yeah, so it was awesome to get this. 
And this is the first time I played Mario 3 was when I got this thing. And I think, I'm pretty sure my brother and I, I can't remember the exact year, but it would have been the last year that Warrior was on his first run with the WWF because we got I got an Ultimate Warrior big sticker and he got a Hulk Hogan one. So it would have had to been 92, 93 range, which means the Super Nintendo was probably out. But we were happy as a clam to get a new and NES. playing Mario 3 before I was even born. Yeah, man, it's pretty wild. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. And Mario 3... What a great game. Epic game. So, uh, yeah, this was uh, really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed the journey back through. And we really want you to jump in the comment section. If you know some of the questions we asked, like, are those AV cables like the original ones? They did look a little weird. Yeah. So maybe, I don't think. They looked kind of old school. Yeah, they, they didn't look like it was part of it. Yeah, I don't I, know. I, they I, just, just the glean of it looked yeah. a little different, you know? I don't you know? know, and the layout. So when we opened it, I don't know how this was repackaged. I know the seller did message me and say that they had got this originally for a Christmas um, for the grandkids and they had got another one like at home. And so they played it like that Christmas with the family and they boxed up and put it in the closet and that's yeah. It. And before we filmed this, I actually sold off a good chunk of this pickup. I had RoboCop, Mission Impossible, and Star Tropics complete in box that Ooh, came with this as well. Wow. And they were amazing. But, uh, you know, I kind of, I always try recouping a little bit um, when I go a little cray cray on the eBay. That's what happens when you're drinking <laughs> and it's late in bed. You know? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, what, uh, what do you think of this beer? Wow, okay, so we've had this beer before. This beer is really good. The peanut butter milk stout by Left Hand Brewery. This is just a good, enjoyable milk stout. It's simple, it doesn't linger, it, it's flavorful. It's just yep. good, you know what I mean? It's just a good, simple beer. This would be great to give to somebody that's maybe getting into the stout game. Um, there's nothing offensive here. Really, really smooth, like you said. Very low ABV. This is not an imperial stout. I think nope. it's probably five, six percent. Yeah. But very good. Left Hand is another brewery there that I put in that category. It's like you're, you're usually safe if you grab a Left Hand beer introduction you know yeah well they just make some good beer some of their other stuff like you know they're uh, they've got some seasonal stouts and that that are really really good but again it's not really stout season but we were sitting on a couple that we kind of had to get finished before we really dive into the the summer run of beers so uh pretty awesome beer guys very flavorful we're, we're riding the nostalgia train hard here in 2020 we just did our nintendo episode uh, nuts for Nintendo. Yes. Um, and we figured, you know what? Let's ride those coattails and let's unbox this NES because we're pretty jacked up about it. And there might be another Nintendo episode coming soon. Wah, wah, wah. FYI. Stay tuned. Ooh. We always appreciate you guys tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for taking the journey back through the NES challenge set. We'll see you next time right here on Gaming Off the Grid. <laughs> Boot scoot and boogie. Oh shit, my bad. That could have been ugly. Just all over. What are we drinking today? Today we're drinking straight peanut butter. Nope. Nope. I don't know where I was going with that one. Hey guys, Gaming Off the Grid here. Sometimes you get a 